Hi, my Leos. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your week of April 10th, 2017 general uh, tarot card reading for tar uh, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So um, I am on social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Also, I do personal readings. If you'd like one, you can email me at jamiezebra23 at gmail.com. Um, all readings are done over the phone or through Skype. It's your choice. Readings are $25 for 15 minutes, $50 for 30 minutes, $75 for 50 minutes, five zero minutes. Um, you must prepay before I can schedule your reading. I can't uh, schedule your reading until you make a payment. So please do not email me and say, can you do my reading in five minutes if I make a payment? No, no, I'm not even gonna respond. Make a payment, then I can um, then I can schedule your reading. After you've made a payment, please email me to let me know so I can do your reading ASAP. Readings are done within 24 to 72 hours, depending on how busy I am. Typically it's within 24 hours, but if I'm like super swamped, the, the max is 72 hours that you would have to wait. Also, um, I have a $5 one question, one answer via email only. One question, one answer. Not what's, what do you see in my life for the next 10 years? No, it's one question, one answer via email only. It's $5. Also, I can interpret your card. So let's say you've got your own tarot deck and you're stumped about something. You don't quite, you, there's just a piece that you're just missing and you don't quite understand. You can snap a picture and I'll interpret it. It's $10. Also, um, I have tarot card classes available. It's $75 for one hour. I split it up into two, 30 minutes and 30 minutes. It's done through Skype. If you'd like to just do it straight the one hour, that's not a problem, but it's kind of a lot of information that comes in. So a lot of people, they, they want to do 30 minutes and 30 minutes so they can take it in, rest on it, and then do it another, you know, finish it up another day so they've got time to like practice it on their own that sort of thing also um, I have uh, kits that I can ship out to you um, kits are shipped out on Monday so you receive it on Wednesday um, they're for love money protection all sorts of good stuff that includes a candle a soap and a liquid cleanse all right guys so let's jump into your reading oh everything's in the description box so my Leo's you got the eight of cups you got the five of swords and then you've got the king of pentacles so with all of this here um, Leos, this week uh, you, you might be having a discontinuance of something. You might decide that you don't want to go any further with something. This could be in a business sense, this could be in a relationship, or this could be with somebody's bullshit. I feel like for many Leos, you're going to be bringing down the axe on somebody, and it could be on a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. I feel like you're sick of their bullshit. Um, I feel like they pile up drama and pile up drama, and you're like, you know what? Be good. It's almost like a, like a parent to a child situation where you're just like, snap out of it. We're not doing this shit anymore. That's it. That's it. You're losing your phone privileges. This could be either for a kid or this could be for your significant other. Yeah, it's going to be a wild week for Leo. Uh-oh. <laughs> a Leo and a water sign. That's like a scary situation. Let's hope that it's the... It's a man Leo and a, and a woman water sign. Otherwise, it's, it'll be a very twisted relationship. <laughs> Yeah, um, if it has to do with a relationship, this could be in business. This could be in business. Somebody saying, you know what? I don't think you're holding up your end of the bargain. It's done. It's over with. I want my money back or we're not going to continue any further. Just give me what you got now. Whatever, whatever you've done so far, whatever progress you made, I need all of that now. And then I'm going to move forward with somebody else because you're not, you're not keeping your end of the bargain, that sort of thing. Also with the five of, uh, the five of swords, some of you have made a decision, but you might decide to change your mind. Um, so this is Mercury retrograde. So if some of you decided to leave your partner or to start cheating or to start being a creepo um, Or to start just being a dishonest person you might be like, you know what? I'm starting to feel like my conscience is kicking in and I think I'm just gonna go back to my husband or my wife or go back to that Person I was with or go and tell my family member. I'm sorry for what I did that sort of thing You're, It's gonna be a, a reversal So like let's say some of you were like you quit your jobs and you did it like in a big way, like, F you, I, I don't want to see you scumbags ever again. You might go back to your job and be like, I'm sorry, I was acting bad. That sort of thing. Um, and then we got the King of Pentacles here. So for some of you, um, Leos, you got a Capricorn or Taurus or a Virgo person that may be coming back to you because they feel like they made a mistake. They want to go back to you. Maybe they, they thought they could do better on their own. The grass was greener on the other side. But it looks like here that this uh, this Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo person wants to come back to you very, very much, Leo. Also, you could be dealing with, um, with several air signs, um, Aquarius, Gemini, or um, Libra. Yeah, um, maybe this uh, this earth sign left you for a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Libra. Yeah, now they want you back, Leo. Um, or there's a business uh, business per partner that maybe made the wrong move, and now they want to try you after uh, after a failure. You know, this could have been like a trial and error thing, but I feel like um, maybe somebody uh, didn't come to you for advice when they were supposed to, and now they're they're having to deal with the uh, with the with the issues with that. 
Um, this could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo person that just didn't take your advice or didn't come to you at the right time. And now they're asking you how they can get out of the mess that they've created already. Um, I feel like, yeah, for Leos, this week is going to be all about you picking up other people's messes, cleaning up other people's messes, and also it's going to be all about you, um, you like bringing down the hammer saying, you know what, since you, since we didn't, since we've been doing it your way all this time and it hasn't been successful, we're going to do it my way now. This is Leo saying, we're going to do it my way now. So you step aside and let me do what I do best, which is manage, which is rule, which is control the situation because I know what I'm doing. So, you know, sit down, little one, and let, let me do what I'm supposed to do. It's, it's going to be that sort of situation. Leo, you're taking charge this week. You're not putting up with this shit anymore. You're not just going to sit back and watch everything crumble. You know, you're, you're getting in the game, and you're, you're not going to give people the benefit of the doubt. I feel like you've been trying not to micromanage people, and you've been trying not to step in where you're not needed but it's it's clear that this week you're needed because uh, things are getting really out of whack. All right, my Leos, I hope this was helpful. Ta-ta for now. Have an amazing April, um, the week of April 10th, 2017.